Hey guys, I'm going to teach you something. I'm going to show you a really impressive hack for actually earning the keywords you're after and earning the traffic you're after without fighting head on for main short tail keywords and fighting all the big competitors first to get to the top and then to try to stay at the top while they keep fighting to get back on top, right? And it becomes a crazy war. Everyone thinks they need to do it to get the traffic, but it's not true. So let me start with a simple stat just to put this idea in your head because we'll use that as we walk through this hack. It's really cool. I think you'll love it because uh, it saves you a lot of money and a lot of time, okay? So here's what it is. Google is processing over 3.5 billion searches every day. That's billion, not million, 3.5 billion searches every day. Of that, on a daily basis, 15% of those queries submitted have never been seen before, okay? Every day, that means over 500 million searches every day, half a billion, more than that, Google has never seen before, okay? That's pretty amazing. It goes to show this. For Google, for a long time now, they're not interested in you trying to show up for a short tail keyword. They're interested in you showing up, with, they're interested in the combination of longer tail concepts and subtopics you show up for. Do you have a page for all these different related concepts? Because Google keeps lists of related concepts. So whatever you fill in, Google starts to realize you're an authority on that stack of information. Now, how important is the short tail keyword? Everyone says that's what everyone searches. Sure, they do. But they don't buy from there. As a matter of fact, you usually hear from the guys who are at the top, 97% of the people who come to their website don't make a purchase, right? That's because they're at the top of a generic search. A two-word keyword search, who really knows what they want off of that? So here's how it usually works. Everyone starts with a short tail because they're not sure where they're headed yet. So 100% of the people are going to type Forex software. And then from there, it starts to change immediately. So first, Google registered that search for all those guys and said, very popular keyword, huh? Forex software. But people are seeing Daytech, Ameritrade, and going, that's not what I was looking for. I'm looking for some program I can resell. Uh, automatic downloadable Forex software. That's what one guy types. Well, another guy types automatic Forex program. And another guy types Forex with the number four. Forex, right? Software. And another guy types Forex program referral system. Another guy types Forex program affiliate system. Now... We get the one keyword got lots of hits and all the rest of them get just very few each. But the more people dive into longer tail, the closer they get to a sell. Conversions off long tails are much, much higher, dramatically higher than conversions off short tail. And you can imagine why. I'm going to show you here in a sec. You're going to see it as I illustrate this. So let me just show you this. When people go, I want to buy a website that ranks okay, on Google. It's kind of that and kind of not. It's you got to do things on the website to make it rank and off the website to make it rank. But the better you do the stuff on site in a way that Google likes, the less you have to do off site. I'm going to show you that real quick. It's a cool secret. And in the meantime, we want to make ourselves an authority for the topic. That way Google really likes us. In other words, a five page website cannot compete with a 20 page website all other factors being the same. The 20-page website is more of an, uh, of an authority on the topic than the five-page website, right? So what about a 50-page website or a 100-page website? Exactly. The bigger the site gets and it's about a particular thing or about a few different particular things like in subdomains, but the bigger a website gets, apples to apples, the more of an authority it becomes, especially if it has pages for every little thing. Let me show you. So if we take Roto-Rooter, they've been around a long time, okay? Roto-Rooter is a plumbing company, franchise spread throughout the nation. That means that they have franchisees, guys who run their own Roto-Rooters around the nation, who paid however much for the franchise and probably got website pages on Roto-Rooter, right? And they did. So Roto-Rooter itself has like 11,100 pages on it right now. Okay, that's a lot. They got pages spread for like basically every city in the in the nation where they have a franchise 
times every main topic that they have. So for instance, say you got a guy in Chicago, okay? I'm just gonna put it here, make the point. They have 28 pages for a plumber in Chicago, right? And that's different things like water damage restoration in Chicago, um, plumbing and drain services is here, plumbing and water cleanup is there, you know, uh, chilling deals from the porcelain seat, haha. <laughs> Five sump pump tips, keep your basement flood free. What do you see them doing? Writing about various points, you know, writing to fill in the nooks and crannies in order to be more of an authority on the topic, right? But yeah, they got several pages. What about Denver? Do you think they have a franchise there? Probably. Well, look, 89 pages. So either somebody's writing some of this on their own or paying for some of this on their own or, they, you know, they're just covering more topics out that way. Who knows, maybe because of the way the ground is out there, they need different kinds of uh, plumbing materials out there. Okay, point made, right? They have a lot of pages on their site covering all of these different things. So if you were thinking, what would they rank for? Simplest way to understand would be take a look at the blueprint, highlight part of it that feels like a keyword, right? Right click and search Google for that. Just see if that shows up, okay? Let's just see a few. Okay, so what do we got? Shelbyville, Tennessee plumber. Okay, 76 results, not many, but what? Does that mean that there are 76 plumbers in Shelbyville? Nah, it, uh, there's probably like seven, but they have like 10 pages each, you know, on their websites. Anyway, there they are, right? One of the top guys right there. Now what? Irvine, California plumber, right? And they've got plumbers in Irvine, you know, wherever it is, right? But they're going to be here somewhere, I'm sure. There they are. One of the top, you know, one of the top 10 anyway, no matter how you slice it. What about this one? Dearborn Heights, Michigan plumber. They're probably up in here somewhere, right? There they are. Okay, fine. So what is that, like six? Something like that. And finally, Donegal Heights, Pennsylvania plumber, okay? Donegal Heights. By the way, ignore all of these because these are not displaying right now because I had it flipped off the last time I loaded up the pages. So just don't worry about these. I'm going to point something out with it pretty soon. It has to do with the hack so you can see something. Anyway, there they are. And there they are. Okay. So, you know, they got a couple of pages showing up right here. Okay, here. Now, I want to make a point. This is where it gets cool. We took a client and this is a simple client. This is a client who has a dog park, okay, that they run at their house, okay, in this area, out here in Auburn, Washington, and the surrounding cities, Kent, Covington, Maple Valley, and Black, uh, Black Diamond, right? You'll see there. And what are they accepting? Well, doggies, now accepting doggies from Auburn, Kent, Covington, Maple Valley, and Black Diamond, right? Try us for only $14. There you go. And that's what it is. It's a play camp for dogs, right? So owners, instead of leaving their dogs lonely at home all day long, can bring them and drop them off at a play camp to play with other dogs, right? That's the idea. So they're local and they're small, and they're just trying to get launched and get going and compete against the really well-established guys who've been around a long time. I'm going to show you this hack. It's going to be fun. So... They started off with a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight page website, and that was it. Okay? That was it. Their eight page website. All right? Simple website and only for a niche topic in this small area. So here's what happened we got them up, and we already started to create pages for them in their sitemap to create more authority for their website. That's one of the hacks. Okay? And so after Google indexed that, they started to index the individual keywords times dog types times cities that we're putting into the system for them. So far, they're hitting everything that's marked dog daycare, dog daycare, dog daycare, dog daycare from our site map. Okay? They're going to add to that pretty soon. But right now, that's what they're after. Okay? That's what they're just getting for now. And in the process of doing it, look at that. They're getting all these different dog brands, dog types, you know, that we put into the system. And that's for the different cities in the area, right? There are only a few, like four or five uh, cities that would, you know, be close enough to bring their dog to them or they go pick up the dogs. Okay? Now that you see that, what do you think the keywords were would be for this? Something like 
daycare for Afghan hounds in or near Auburn, Washington. I might start with that search and then I'll take some of the keywords out of it and see how short tail I can get and still stay up near the top, right? For those individual keywords. Two points I wanna make right now. One, do you think there's gonna be a lot of traffic coming through those individual topics? No, but also, if anyone does have like an Afghan hound and they see a page showing up that says dog daycare for Afghan hounds in their area, doesn't that feel like a really good match? Even if it's not number one, what if it's number two or number three or number four, but it's the only one on the page that mentions their exact kind of dog. If they did a search for that because they were just curious and they saw that, they're like gonna call, right? Because that's what you're gonna see in a minute. So here we go. American Bulldog Kent Daycare, meaning Kent Washington. Dog daycare for American Bulldogs in or near Kent Washington. If I had an American Bulldog and I did a search for that, I was in Kent Washington, I did a search like that, and I saw this, I'm gonna click it, I'm gonna call them. Does anyone else here mention American Bulldogs? No, nope. You know what that means? That's the best fit for my search, isn't it? That's the one I care about the most. And when I click that link, the page is going to say, now accepting American Bulldogs from Kent tries for only $14. It's also going to say American Bulldog play camps. And the picture gives away, it's not just American Bulldogs, but obviously it's American or it's play camps that will accept American Bulldogs, right? That is pretty cool, isn't it? Let's show you another one. Uh, daycare for schnoodles in Auburn, Washington. Dog daycare for schnoodles. And if I went there, now accepting schnoodles from Auburn. Try us for only 14 schnoodle play camps, etc. Guess what? This is why Google's indexing these pages, okay? Because they have different purposes. They're not competing for the same keywords. They're not trying to show up on the same page, right? But they're specialized and they're about the topic. What happens when you put a bunch of these pages out that are about the topic, okay? That's it. Look, they're like number one for most of the stuff, okay? No matter what, they're like the top or one of the top two maybe results. And even when they're like number three, you know, you're going to want to click it because it's got the wording you were curious about, right? Now, here's the secret. I'm just going to say you could keep going, okay? We're gonna find Kent Mastiff Stay Care, different keyword combinations are gonna bring them up. And then Dog Day Care for Papillons. Now, again, am I doing this necessarily because I think many of these guys are gonna are gonna you know do searches for their own kind of a dog? No. I'm doing it because there's a sub market that will search for their kind of a dog, but I'm mainly doing it because then Google's going to recognize that I am an authority on these topics. Dogs daycare in these areas. Google will start to give me the generic dog daycare, doggy daycare spelled with an IE, doggy daycare spelled with a G-Y, D-O-G-G-Y, dogs daycare, dogs day camp. Google's going to start to give me dogs play group, you know, uh, there we are right there, okay? And that's going to be awesome. Dog play groups, okay? Auburn play group for dogs, all right? Boom, uh, there's one, two, three, and then us, okay? Now, so first tech, instead of just trying to go for the big keyword, which is going to be really, really hard if you don't have a lot of content, if you're just trying to write a small site, we're going to auto-generate pages for, for, the, for the three columns in Excel that we need. List of dogs. Dog types, look up a list of dog types, copy that list, paste it in one column in Excel. Cities, you can do a search for a list of cities near, whatever, Auburn, Washington. And travelmath.com will come up. And when you click it, it gives you a list you can copy and paste in a notepad, get everything on one line, copy and paste right into Excel. That would be like eight surrounding cities, maybe 12 surrounding cities you know, within like a 25 mile radius kind of thing. So now you've got your cities and then your services, dog day camp, uh, pet kennel, dog hotel, uh, grooming, whatever, transportation to from, 
Those are your keywords. So that goes in your third column. Now we're going to hit go to create all the combinations. So we're going to have like our 100 dog types times, you know, five cities. That would be 500 web pages times the four topics that we're going to use as 2,000 web pages we're going to put on our website. And then offer it to Google like a smorgasbord. Just here, Google, pick and choose whatever you like to fill in the algorithmic holes for searches people might do. And let Google decide what all those things should be. Because after all, 15% of their searches, over half a billion a day, are new and interesting and Google never saw them before. Some of that is just people waking up and realizing they can type what they really want. Okay? So that's the first hack. How do you win the short tail keywords? You go after the long tail keywords in a big stack, big comprehensive stack surrounding your topic so that Google finally gives you the short tail. You'll earn it one day. And you'll earn it because why? People will stay on the pages, won't they? Somebody does a search. I don't know what this was. Common Doors Daycare in Covington. And they saw one. And they click it. And they land here where it's talking about now accepting Common Doors from Covington. Common Door Play Camps. The guy's not going to bounce. There is no other web page out there that talks about exactly what the guy's looking for. The guy's sticking around. He's probably going to leave this page open and start scrolling for a phone number, okay? And he's going to maybe click on some of this stuff and read about it and contact us, right? Google's going to see all of this. Google watches all of this happen in Chrome, okay? Same time he's doing that. Anyone who's doing a search for this, whatever people are seeing and they click on it and boom, they get here and they start reading and this is what they're reading, they're absolutely going to stick around. They're going to call. They're going to read. And guess what? It means that Google sees when people land on your pages, they're really interested in your pages. That is one of the huge measurables for Google. Time on page. So when you go for the longer tells, you increase your time on page. Because people who see what you the, the longer tells that relate to them and they click on them, they stick around because it's about what they were looking for. So that's a big part to the hack. Create the pages for the surrounding things in order to get the main things. Second part to the hack. Let me show you a secret and then show you what it means. I think this will blow your mind. Have you heard of page authority and domain authority, right? The longer the bars, the harder people work to get the links that they're after, right? Have you heard of that? Page authority and domain authority, it means what? It means that people went out and got themselves promoted in other places on the internet, right? They got backlinks to themselves. And that's what drives up the rank, okay? So rank, this is the offsite factor to ranking, okay? In order to rank, you have to go out and popularize yourself in other places. Well, the secret to it is this. If you have coding errors on your website, Google barely understands what your website is about, so it can barely rank your website, and it has to look for the external links pointing in to get a clue what you should be showing up for, even on Google. They have to guess, and it takes them a while to feel confident in their guess, right? That's a big deal. Now, here's the funny thing, and this is absolutely true. If you take care of the coding errors on your website, you already give Google the clarity. They, they can read your page. They don't fumble. It's not confusing. It's crystal clear. So Google knows what your page is about. So it needs many fewer backlinks to know what you're all about. You cut, you cut up through the rank fast because Google knows what you're about. They have to guess for the other guys, but they know for you. Second thing you do. Speed up your web pages. Google doesn't want websites with slow loading pages to rank very well. They want the websites with the fast loading pages to rank really well. So again, you don't hardly need nearly any backlinks to rank if, if you maximize the page speed of your website. So let's do a comparison really, really fast. <laughs> 42, 42, 45, 1. 20, 26, domain authority, 91, 91, 94, 1, 19, and 48, okay? 
What's that mean? That This is a rank ready website. Everything has been done on the website necessary to make it rank without any backlinks at all to, to help it. So as soon as we go out and get some simple backlinks to this website, they'll just shoot up through the rest of these guys. They'll just push their way up. So how does that happen? There's the secret, watch this. Doggy days, right? Our website that we care about, no coding errors. Totally, document checking completed, no errors or warnings to show. Know how rare that is? That's coding, that means Google understands the page. Second part, page speed. On a desktop, this thing loads almost perfectly fast, 94 out of 100 possible. That's huge, it's incredibly fast. And on mobile, they're a 91. They're extremely fast even on a mobile device, handheld. So Google wants them to rank on a mobile and they want them to rank on a desktop because Google understands the pages and the pages load really fast and we are obviously you know, experts all over the topics, right? That's what we do is talk all about the, the small points that add up to the whole topics. How does that compare with the competitors? If we look down below and right up above, remember Meetup, they were above us, right? 42 and 91, they were above us, okay? Anyway, here's the thing. This is our website. Looks like a pretty decent website to me, right? But look at this. That's the same page. <laughs> 22 coding errors, 20 warnings. All together, Google finds this page hard to read. It's not sure what this page is about. You might be able to look at it like a human and me and understand what the page is about. But for Google, this is like just a bunch of numbers on a page, really. This is totally different. Google's guessing what the numbers are, but there's mismatching in the spacing coding errors so what should be a number 12 looks like a one then a space then a two like a one and a two that throws off the meaning doesn't it anyway that's the problem there what about page speed oh, that same page 51 on a mobile device right oh almost almost in the red desktop 88 not even quite in the green okay what about the website link right below them that's this other website here, okay? Pretty simple, looks like it's gotta load fast, looks like everything's gotta be fine about it, and it probably does load fast, at least on that desktop. Anyway, let's take a look. Houseofruff.com, indoor dog park. Houseofruff.com, indoor dog park, right? <laughs> Even worse, 47 total errors. This is why they're sucking in rank. This is why they're doing even worse than our client with no backlinks whatsoever. They have backlinks. They have to have backlinks. They have to try really, really hard to have backlinks because they can't rank without them. They just can't. Look at that, mobile 64. Ah, desktop, they are 96. Their page did look like it should load fast on a desktop, right? There's not much to load. But mobile, they can't be doing very well. And aside from that, just so many coding errors. Okay, here, having explained all that, what does that mean for you? It means this, we created a website that you can download and put anywhere, you, you, you won't even download it, you'll just get a domain name, and then when you get this website, it'll install directly to that domain name and be live in two minutes and you'll get a file, like an Excel file, where you can paste in your columns of product services, keywords, and like uh, locations is optional, and then destination links where you want people to really go. How does that website work? That website works this way. When the pages load, much like these would, you put in your stuff and hit go, and it creates a website for you with lots of pages that are gonna be up here for whatever your keyword combinations are, they're gonna to tend to rank really, really fast. What happens is people will click them. It won't be your site yet, but it'll be a very simple uh, website look to it, and it'll be all about click this link to check out all the options, or to get the full training, watch the video, 
you know, browse our selection, whatever it is you want them to do. When they click it, it will leave this website and go to your website. So all these pages are marketing channels pointed right at your real website, your main website. Okay, how many of these pages can you make? 10,000 for each thing you wanna promote and you can put a bunch of things up, okay? So how many things do you wanna promote? You know, if you have a catalog item of 10,000 items, you can upload that to create these exact pages. If you just have like 100 cities that you wanna to promote to times 100 products where you want any of those products to be buyable from any of those cities, that's a 10,000 page combination now, isn't it? So all your keywords times any locations you have, you're just gonna sprinkle in the keywords and the locations and the list of links where people can go. You know, So if they go to this keyword and see that page, it'll go to that shopping cart page over there. Or it's all the same link to the shopping cart, right? Or wherever it is you want them to go. It can, can be anything. It could be anything like make money online, um, get a quick payday loan, you know, Chicago plumber, <laughs> anything. That's what we did. We created content on the website that plugs and plays to promote anything. So the content's just general. It's kind of like when you're looking for blankety blank, we're your best option. Click here to browse our selection. And everything about it saying click here. So every single page, no matter what people click on, is trying to lead them directly to your website, okay? So if your website's sitting here and you haven't been able to make that rank, make this other website rank for all those different keyword combinations and make it an authority on the topic so it can also eventually rank for the short tails and have all of that pointing in at your website. That way you don't even need to change your message. You don't need to compromise your message for SEO. You can speak humanly, say it exactly the right way so that it'll convince the people to, to buy or to sign up or to join or whatever it is you want. But this website over here is your marketing arm. It's all SEO'd out. It's, all, it's got perfect HTML validation, maximized page speed, and it will lead everyone in to here. Very simple, don't need technical skills, just gotta get used to it. We have almost no one ever asking support questions because it's so easy to use. Where do you get it? Go to website-installer.com and this is something we just put out recently. It's here, choose your category. All of these are cool, but the one you're looking for is called Legacy UAP. UAP means Universal Affiliate Pages. Okay, and when you click it, it's gonna take you down to here. That's the one. Live demo just shows you an example of what the pages look like. There are literally so many variations you can make. It's unbelievable. So you can make your website for anything and it'll just look hot, okay? It'll look really, really good. It doesn't have to pertain to locations. We just have that flipped on. Sections like this can be flipped on or flipped off, okay? Um, and there's no reason to have an address. It's just here as an example, okay? Having said that, you want it, get the details, and that's where you can buy it. Tells you the price, gives you a breakdown. We're gonna totally walk you through it. You're gonna be able to absolutely use it. You'll be able to install it in like two minutes. Just buy it. Fill out the form. You can put in company information if you have it or not. It's up to you. And there's where you're gonna put your domain name. If you don't know what it is yet, click here to buy one. That'll open a new tab where you can find your perfect domain name and buy it. When you buy it, just follow the simple instructions here to set the name servers, okay? Then just come back here and type it in. And then continue with the purchase, hit buy, and you'll be able to get it. And it'll install in two minutes. And you'll get the Excel file. And you'll be able to add your columns. And you'll be able to hit go. And it will create all your pages. And it will automatically submit them to Google for you so you don't have to. It will ping the sitemaps to Google, Bing, and Yahoo for you. Okay? What's that mean? 
you're up and running and all these pages are just going to start producing themselves. Literally, this doesn't take more than an hour if you feel like doing it from end to end. All right. It's that simple. Really is that easy. All right. I hope you found this topic interesting and I hope you understand what's going on. It's a great hack for avoiding having to go through all the backlink hell everyone else has to go through. And the great advantage again, if you set up this website, right, like any other website, if you set up your website, you could use this to make yourself a website for anything you want. If you set up your website with no coding errors, maximize page speed, which is automatic on this one. And then you make sure to create pages for, you know, the deeper level keywords, maybe times locations. Then Google goes, oh, wow, if you're showing up for all these keywords, you're about this topic. And so you get traffic through the keywords and then traffic eventually through the shorter tails too. Okay. And all that can be directed wherever you want them to go to buy anything from you or to join anything you have. All right. There you go. There's the whole breakdown. Hope you liked it and hope you get the point and hope you get around to getting it again website-installer.com and when you go there get the legacy uap universal affiliate pages all right